Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday. It's actually Monday when I'm filming this, but it's Tuesday when you're seeing it because I'm trying to get some stuff just for Tuesday filmed ahead because I don't going to be busy because Devin's going back to work. Anyways, <laughs> this is my Halloween project for May. I cut it close. I just finished them just now on Monday. I crocheted them yesterday, Sunday, but I finished the details today. Um, so I'm sharing with them with you now <laughs> but my goal is to every month since january through october i want to make three halloween themed amigurumis to leave outside in our candy bucket for my neighborhood kids when we go out trick-or-treating because i have my own kids so we, we leave the house on halloween but i still decorate and leave out candy and stuff for the neighborhood kids um so so far i've done good so so far i did january February, march april so that's what 12 so this will be 15 <laughs> so far so I'm, i'll be halfway through my goal of having 30 by Halloween. So this pattern is a free pattern. It looks cuter on the pattern than it did when I made it, but I still think mine are cute. Mine just look a little different. But it's called Halloween Kitty Bean by K Hook Creations, I believe. And I made three of them and I made them all in the same color. I'm not sure what the colorway is called because it doesn't have a ball bin. It's just a scrap orange that I pulled down. But they're little cats. <laughs> so there they are. It's like the silhouette of the cat, you know. It's flat it's made in a um two panels and put together so it's like a ragdoll style and i just used some of my little sunglasses that i got off amazon i'll link them down below if you want to check them out and then i just stitched on the nose the sunglasses and the nose is what i just did today but it's a really quick pattern i made all three three of these yesterday while make, watching aristocats <laughs> on disney plus um and i just think they're cute so there's one and then there's the second one his little tail <laughs> with green glasses and then the third one has black glasses he does have a nose it's just hard to see because <laughs> of his glasses but i think they're pretty cute they're just cute little cat amigurumis or whatever <laughs> they might think they're monsters or something i don't know but um i think they're cute i think they did look cuter with safety eyes I, after the fact i was like i wish i had put safety eyes on them but um then i just decided i'm just gonna put the little glasses on there because they're still cute but i'm sure some kid will like them or some of the grown-ups because last year I, we, when we came home we caught some of the grown-ups getting candy out of our bucket which I think is funny I think Halloween's for everybody so um, I don't care who gets my candy and treats as long as people are having fun um, but I just think they're adorable this is a really bright orange I thought it was good for Halloween and I have no idea what it is I, it could be a red heart but I'm not sure it feels a little bit rough rougher than a red heart <laughs> but um, I'm not sure what it is I've had it for a while and I've still been using it but I think they're cute. I'll leave this pattern links below. It is a free pattern. And I'll leave the little glasses linked below. I've been using them on my little sons and now on my cats. And I thought about putting some on the flowers. Because I'm going to make some more of these little flowers. Um, but I don't know if I want to put sunglasses on them. I don't know. <laughs> they're just cute. I have 80 pairs minus the few that I've used. So I've got plenty of them to do. <laughs> it comes in sets of 80s. But I think they're so cute. What do you think? So now I'm halfway done with my Halloween project for this year so I, now i have 15 finished they're actually in this tote all my finished objects that i'm keeping for other reasons are in this tote um like and i finally finished june's the Minnie mouse shoes i've glued the bowls on that's all that i need to do and then all i had to do with the hat was glue the uh pom-poms and the bow on so i did that too <laughs> um so these are gonna go in there and then i'll put them up later but the halloween ones are all in there and some other things are in there too but, uh, so now I've got 15. I'm halfway there. That's pretty cool. So now I'm going to be looking for, oops, picked up some, looking for a pattern for my June Halloween project. So I have the whole month to work on it. Hopefully I won't wait till the last few days, <laughs> but I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out. Just cute pattern. And you can look at the other projects other people made on Ravelry and they, those are really cute. They did their faces and stuff different. And some people did it like a tuxedo cap with the white right here and the black. It's just really cute. Some people are real creative. <laughs> I just kind of went simple with the one solid color. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with them. So I'm going to put them in my bucket and start brainstorming on what I want to make for June. And I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll leave you, or see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.